Roland in Sittard, the Netherlands. Okay, Sittard, Holland. He writes, Paul, why do we still have bass and treble, or EQ in general, on our hi-fi home setups? I don't, <laughs> but some people do, okay. Uh, I mean, recordings made in the recording studio are eventually mastered, and that final step of mastering is how the producer wants it to sound. For me, it's like going to a restaurant, ordering a nice meal, and then seasoning it at the table, overruling the chef. Yep, I get it. It's like pouring ketchup on your eggs, right? <laughs> well, first off, tone controls in the very beginning of this whole thing. And remember, tone controls are sort of a leftover from years and years ago when hi-fi was in its infancy. And we had speakers that had pretty much no top end and no bottom end. If you look at the average speaker from the 50s and the 60s, maybe even the early 70s, they had pretty crappy bass and almost no top end. The driver technology wasn't such that you know we had it. I mean, some of it, Gosh, I mean, the, you know, some of the, the superstars from back then, the, the uh, JBL corner horns, they had great top end and bottom end. They, they really did and still do. So we didn't need it for that. And a lot of purists use that without tone controls. But for the majority of people, people back then, like me, I had a pair of speakers. I don't even remember what they were. They were Advents, I think. And... I didn't have any bottom end at all. So I cranked up the bass because that made my speakers actually sound closer to real music. So in the beginning, tone controls were there to make up for deficiencies in our stereo systems, not the recordings. And I would pretty much not recommend trying to use tone controls to make up for recordings unless it's some you know archival ancient thing that really needs it. No, I think tone controls kind of went away as the state of the art of loudspeakers got better and better and better. Today, you can buy a full range loudspeaker, uh, you know, full range to, the, to a reasonable point, let's say to 50 hertz, good enough, 20 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz, for hundreds of dollars. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars on that. And why would you need a tone control for that? You don't. And I think that's why tone controls have kind of gone away. Now, they are still on most, what I would call consumer electronics, receivers, integrateds, and all that. And I think they're there because, like a balance control, people kind of demand it. Well, this one doesn't have it. I mean, you may never even use it, but hey, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, this is what that genre of product has, so it's got to have it. I think they just stick it on there because that's what's expected and all of that. And it's why you don't see it on our products. Our customers have, for the most part, full range loudspeakers and adding a tone control isn't really going to help anything except maybe the room. And in that, we've talked ad nauseum through my book, The Audiophile's Guide, etc., how to deal with that. And there are other ways to deal with those problems that I would, I would more highly recommend. Thanks for the question. We'll talk to you later. Bye.